guys, it's Supercar Blondie. I have got to show you today the brand new Ferrari Roman. Now this is actually the cheapest Ferrari that you can buy right now, which is crazy because it actually has the newest updates in the Ferrari line, like all new generation technology inside that I'm gonna show you today and a whole new look. What do you guys think? I actually really love the look of the Roma. This is the entry level Ferrari, but in my opinion, it's one of the best looking Ferraris on the market. So let me show you what's happening here. Guys, ready? This is also the coolest Ferrari key ever. It's leather, right? And then you can also get this on the back, which is super cool. So it's kind of this rectangular design that I've never seen on any other car key before. I really like, it's very compact. It doesn't look like a car key at all. So this is actually an optional extra, this cool bit on the front. The way it comes standard is just the leather on back and front. So these guys, a massive thank you to Superior Rental. They have actually forked out the extra dough for the fancy key. Thank you so much for giving us the Roma today so we can look at it. All right, let me show you around. Come around the back. What I think is really cool is, open the boot with this key, you press twice, this opens, pull it up, and this is where you get to look at all of the extra cash you've spent on this car. So this is all of your optional extras. Right, so let's see what they've got. Apple CarPlay, red brake calipers, carbon fiber hub, That's my sister, always interrupting our shoots. What are you doing? No, get out of the shoot. This car doesn't belong here. <laughs> Just ignore it. I wanna see a real car. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's hurt her neck. She can't move her neck. Yo, 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 are what's going okay? on? No, I'm in pain. Oh, no. <laughs> Can you get this chimney out of here? Cause I've got a Ferrari review to do and this car's, it's just pulling it down. Oh, I a thought notch. I was going to bring it up. No, no. Oh, okay. Off you go. All right. Get back in your jimmy. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. So what I was saying is, <laughs> you got all of these optional extras. So this car starts at around $250,000, but this one went for about $285,000 with all of the optional extras. So you can see here, for example, you've got the red brake calipers as an extra, and you've also got the carbon fiber hubcap. Boot space, uh, not massive, to be honest with you. Comes with a, a cover and an emergency safety kit. Usually in a GT car with the engines at the front, you've got a lot more space in the back, so it's not massive. For example, entry level Ferraris in the past have been California, the California T, the Portofino. They've all had a bit more space in the back, so this is a little bit on the small side. Plus what's interesting is, look, I actually like the way you can just pull this straight out and not have to lift it over a barrier here in the back. However, I did notice some complaints that if you're parked on a hill like this and you open up the trunk, then whatever is here will literally just fall out the back. All right, close this up and it doesn't have soft close, which is interesting. I would have liked to have seen that. Otherwise you've got to go like this and then it will pop down. I'm loving the rear tail lights. They've actually replaced what is usually the iconic tail lights, which are round on a Ferrari. Now they're more elongated. They're not round at all, but I actually really like that. Come look at this guys. I really like the way that you open this door. You just put your fingers in and then it pops open and you pull back and it actually feels really light, this door and very easy to maneuver. Now I'm opening this for a reason. Look at this. Right here, it's like an ejector seat button. And I'm gonna pop that, boom. So we can have a look under the hood. 
up it goes. Yes, now we are actually looking at a twin turbo V8 and it has about 610 horsepower. So that's the same amount as a Lamborghini Huracan, okay? Just so you can kind of compare where it sits in the power league among supercars. That's enough of that. Pop that down. It has a very long nose, doesn't it? Kind of pops out, kind of like a shark. That's my least favorite design feature on this car. It's a little bit long for my liking. Other than that, I think the front is very beautiful. Right, now, let's hop inside because this car has completely updated everything, all right? First thing I wanna show you here, press this, and it is a quick lock function. So you don't even have to have your key on you when you get, you know, I just pop my key in my bag, I get out and then I'm like, oh, I have to lock the door. I'm fumbling through my bag, trying to find the key just so I can lock the car. Now you get out, you put your key wherever and you just press this. And same for unlock, you just press that. Oh yes, you do, here we go, just unlocked. And in you get, I love that. Now look at this interior guys. I mean, come on, come on. How beautiful is this interior? My goodness. I love this spec in red and black as well. This is gorgeous. Now, let me show you what's going on here. The first thing that you notice is this really big screen in front of you. This is the first time that I'm seeing a Ferrari with a massive dash screen. Usually the dash screen is like really tiny on the left hand side here, on the right hand side. This I love. This is finally like it feels modern and updated, this whole car. You've got this nice screen here. Do you know what? Let me just turn it on so that you can see everything light up. What is super cool is, where is the start stop button? There is no button anymore. Look, it's actually here. Now you've got the start stop button on this digital display, which is so cool. So let's start her up. What? Ah, oh, look at that big screen. That is so nice. Okay, now. digital lights like this for example this is for the modes so you've got wet mode in blue and then you turn it around into comfort sport or race and you just do that here on this little dial which is very cool this is a really cool one view max that'll give you your map in full display which is really really cool that is great all right, look at this, this is really cool. Right here is a nod to Ferrari's past. This looks like an old gated gearbox. So you know when you would get into an old manual Ferrari, you'd have to shift it in like this, right? So it looks like that, but they've actually turned this into a digital display for this new Roma, which is really cool. So let me turn it on. You see it lights up here, reverse. You just pop this down and you get a red light to the R, which is really cool. Take it out of reverse, you just put it into gear, okay? And then you can choose between auto or manual, so you just flick that down if you want it in manual, which is really easy and really cool, I like that. This one here, this L, this is for launch control, love that. Now over here in front of you, you've got your passenger display. This is actually an optional extra, you don't get that standard. It is really cool and it makes it super easy for the passenger to just kind of like control as you saw the audio, you can see the revs, you can see the speed, you can just go through and have a little bit of fun as the passenger. Then you've got like a little storage right here in the middle. You've got your USB, which is great. And in the back, you have two seats, if you can call them that. I think you could just about fit my little Pomeranian in here. These, these are tiny, let me try and get back in. To get in the back, there's just a little lever here. I'm gonna pull this up, and what I like is it then just automatically starts moving forward so that you can get in. Ooh, let's see, let's. Because of course, this is not a convertible, 
so it is even harder to fit in the back. Oh my, oh, stop, stop moving. Oh my God, it's squishing me. Hot, stop. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is definitely not comfortable at all. I can confirm. Uh, <laughs> I have to pull my neck over in order to sit in the back. But I suppose it's good for just like little storage of items, maybe some bags, maybe your dogs or something else. Okay, let me get out. Starting her up. Here we go. Everything lights up. Boom. All right. Let's go. First drive of the Roma. in 3.4 seconds now you've actually got your window functions here in the middle just so you're not trying to look around for them they're here all right it definitely feels and drives like a Ferrari I'm just not a huge fan of the way that they play around in the back end like if you're taking off it's like whoa whereas for example a lot of other supercars you feel a lot more stuck to the road stiffer this one's just like Whoa, let's see what this car wants to do today <laughs> this is an optional extra here guys the carbon fiber on the wheel and also one thing i've found that i don't really like is there's no mirror why now to indicate the indicators are actually nowhere here or here just like on other Ferraris, they're here on the wheel. So indicator button here or here. And what I like about the Roma is you can actually see if your indicator light is on. In other Ferraris, they're kind of hidden around the corner here, the lights. And I could never tell if my indicator light was left on. So I always ended up driving around like an absolute numpty. You know, those numpties on the road who forget their indicator lights are on. That was me in other Ferraris. In this one, I can actually clearly see if they're on or off. I like that. This is really nice. I really like this display. I mean, how good does that look? So big. What's quite cool is there's a quick flash function here on the wheel with this. Right here, there's a tiny little lever that you can click in and that is to flash people. <laughs> All right, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed my quick review of the brand new Ferrari Roma. A massive thank you to Superior Rental here in Dubai for giving us this today to have a look at. I hope you enjoyed, I'm out, love ya. Bye, make sure to subscribe guys.